So pencil lead is called pencil lead, not because we ever actually used real lead in pencils, but because when graphite was first discovered, we didn't know what it was, and we assumed it was a kind of lead, so we called it lead. There's never been real lead used in ordinary pencils. I've got this list of little ideas I've been saving up, things that aren't quite long enough to make a full video, and I'm just going to throw them all into one pot here. It's going to include some corrections as well. All right, uh, when Nixon's people broke into the Watergate Hotel, they were actually trying to manipulate the opposing primary because they were trying to get McGovern the nomination because they knew that McGovern could be easily defeated. Watergate, when I was a kid, was always presented as Nixon didn't even have to do it. Look how much of a landslide he won by. But he, he won by a landslide because it was McGovern, and that's what the break-in at the Watergate was trying to do, was get McGovern the nomination. This is a correction in my video on the Great Toaster Capade. I said that Alan McMasters was in the running to be on a set of Scottish stamps. That was incorrect. He was actually in the running to be on the Scottish 50-pound note. Another correction, I said in my video about Cliff Stoll that he took down a Soviet spy ring. It would be more accurate to say that he took down a ring of hackers that were selling secrets to the Soviets. They were just West German college students uh, who did not appear to have any sort of political motivation. And it was really, if you look into it, it was an unfortunate circumstance all around. Uh, if you put Parmesan cheese on microwaved popcorn, it tastes exactly like smart food. Back in the day, particularly during the building of the Panama Canal, there was a lot of malaria going around. They didn't know where malaria came from, but they thought it came from breathing bad swamp air. So they drained all of the swamps to get rid of the bad swamp air, and that actually got rid of the malaria because it was being caused by the mosquitoes that were breeding in the swamps they'd just drained. SR-71 spy plane pilots had to be married because uh, the government thought that would make them less likely to defect to the Soviet Union. The U.S. Post Office in your town has a bunch of free packing material inside. You don't even have to ask for it. Just walk up and look at all of the prepaid stuff that you grab before you go to the counter. All of it's free. You can, don't abuse it too much, but it's, it's free packing material. Uh, I recently saw an interview with a woman who was a very young child in Ford's theater during the Lincoln assassination, and her weird childlike memory of the event, she didn't even know that anyone had been shot. She just heard a noise and then saw some poor man fall onto the stage and break his leg. And for the longest time, she was concerned about his well-being because she, she didn't know anyone had been shot. She just saw some poor actor break his leg. Another thing I had to look up one time was why is footage called footage? And I, I should have been able to figure this one out on my own. It's because v film used to be measured in feet and frames, but in feet, so that's why it was called footage. Okay, this is the last one, and I promise it gets more interesting towards the end. So back in olden times, people would pass out and they would say, I've got the vapors, and I was like, what? What, what are vapors? Why are they calling them vapors? And this stems back to the malaria thing. So it was believed that inhaling bad vapors would make you sick. Uh, that's why Black Death era doctors wore those big noses, giant false noses. They were full of spices because they thought if they couldn't smell the death, then they wouldn't catch the death. And it's why the story on this song has changed so many times. But I was told it's why in the song Ring Around the Rosy, they say pocket full of posies because people would carry around nice smelling things so that they wouldn't smell death and therefore wouldn't catch death. Now, here's the interesting part. If they believed that you'd inhaled bad vapors, the way to get them out was to intentionally induce flatulence. Um, I didn't look into how they do that, but maybe that'll be a video for a different time.